Today I'm going to show you how I drew this lemon bouquet and talk to you about things I did to make it look more realistic. You can see me getting started here with the leaves. I worked on each the same way by first outlining, then filling in the shadows, and then adding the midtones. And this leads me to my first tip, which is value. In order to make this drawing look more realistic, I focused a lot of attention on value. Notice how much contrast there is between the darkest shadows in the leaves and the lightest greens. Don't be afraid to use really dark greens or even black in the shadows. Here I used Polychromo's Chrome Oxide Green, Derwent Lightfast Racing Green, and a 90% gray from Prismacolor to get my shadows super dark. The second thing that you can do to make your drawings look more realistic is make sure you're adding plenty of texture. I used several techniques in order to create texture in the leaves, lemons, and the vase. You'll see me use an embossing tool to indent the paper and add texture. I use this tool to add details to the leaves, texture to the lemons, and the scroll design that you'll see on the vase. The second tool I used to create texture is an electric eraser. I used this to pull up bits of color revealing the layers underneath. This helps add texture and depth. And then lastly, I added tiny dots and dashes in areas that were initially too smooth. This takes seconds to do and can really transform your drawing. Now I'm working on the lemons. I started by outlining the lemons, adding texture with the embossing tool, blocking in the highlights with a white Prismacolor pencil, and then filling in the rest of the lemon with color, beginning with the shadows and moving into the midtones and highlights. The third tip, or something that will make this drawing look more realistic, is making sure I have really clean edges. You'll notice that I'm keeping my edges nice and crisp. Watch out for smudges and messy edges that can bring down the realism of your drawing. As I'm working on the lemons, I'm coming back through with my really sharp green pencils to make sure the edges meet and there's no visible graininess. Moving on to the vase, and believe it or not, the vase was the most challenging part of this drawing for me. I wanted the appearance of a rustic vase with some intricate scroll work. I used the embossing tool and started to block in some of the abstract shapes to make the pattern on the surface of the vase. And the fourth thing that I did to make this drawing look really realistic is smooth blending. I like my drawings to appear super smooth and paint-like, and to achieve this, I spent a lot of time making sure I have a nice smooth blend. I use a liquid solvent or paint thinner to break down the binders and the pencil pigment until I have a nice smooth base layer. Then I can work on top of this layer to adjust the colors and add details. The finished result looks more like a painting than a drawing. And the final thing I did to make this drawing look more realistic is that I paid a lot of attention to the details. I took my time. I studied my reference image and tried to draw what I could see there. It's important to put the extra effort that it takes to make your drawings go from fine to great. I call this finesse, and that's the final tip that I have for you. Make sure you're taking time to add some finesse to your drawings. And here is my finished drawing. I've created a four part tutorial series over on Patreon. So if you want to learn more about how I drew it, you can check it out there. Otherwise, I will see you next week for another video. Bye everybody.